in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to run twitter ads okay so if you want to run your twitter ads the first thing you need to do is to go to ads.twitter.com ads.twitter.com and then you will see some of the ads i'm creating currently i'm running this ad i run it sometimes in february but i just resumed the ad today again right you can see i've also paused some of the ads right okay so let's get started so if you want to create an ad what you need to do is to create on this uh, and to click on this create campaign right so when you click on create campaign you can choose your objective right we have um awareness so this one if you want to increase or maximize your ad reach you want to reach a lot of people just for reach especially if it's one for big brands you want to just create awareness all right then the second one is consideration and this one maybe you want to get people to watch a video or um, hear your ad with premium content right or app install let's say you want to run an ad that leads to an app and website traffic then also you you also have engagement okay you can run an ad to get people to engage with your feed and then you can run an ad to build followers and then we also have conversion so app re-engagement this is especially if you have installed a tracking or a pixel whatever it's called right on your website or to just engage people who have already engaged with your um, ads or with any of your profile before but for this particular tutorial I'm gonna run an ad that leads to website, right? So I'm gonna get website traffic. So when I choose it, you see that it's been clicked. So what I would do is to click on next. Okay. By the way, this is not really gonna be easy if you're using a smartphone, right? I mean, if you're using your mobile phone, but it's quite easier when you are using a laptop. So the next thing you wanna do is to, um, you know, you can write this is optional but i usually suggest that you write it um you know so that you'll be able to know which campaign you're actually trying to pause or trying to um you know start running right so uh maybe you want to edit something you can as well know so for me i'm just going to put af web traffic um, blah 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 like that you know that, so i put today's date just so that i will also know that it's today uh, even though i will also see the date later on right so and you can see this is my card i've already added my payment and here this is where you're gonna um uh you know put your daily budget so for now i just want to put it at ten dollars per day uh, if you want to you know um if you want to uh, spend a maximum number of um, i mean an amount let's say for instance your total budget is hundred dollars you can as well put it here so that you know your ad will not go beyond it and you can also put a start and ending date yeah so the, one of the ways to explain this is what i explained to you the other time you see the ad that i decided to resume the other time uh, i was able to resume it because i didn't put an ending date here right if i put a specified day here i will not be able to resume that ad. i would just be able to you know maybe duplicate the ad and then run it again but it's always i always like it for me I said if you are running a campaign for a specific period of time right um so that is when you should put an end date but if you want is a campaign that will that you might still need at the long run so i don't usually use an ending date so you can see it here you can say choose when you want your campaign to end or let it run until your ad groups you know end see right so uh this advanced said pacing or accelerated i think i'm just going to leave it the way it says then you go on and click on next loading so, so now we have the ad group this is where you now uh, i'll also put it as aff you know um website traffic um ad group so I, i'll just put it there i can also decide to put the date uh, but just let's leave it that way so here is where i say total ad group so you know it's it's usually arranged in you know you have your um ad right 
where you have your campaign, right? So you can have different ads under your campaign. But um, for this one, we're just going to be using um, the, the, the budget that we've already set earlier because we're just going to be running a single campaign under this particular, a single ad under this particular campaign. Okay. So um, it said site visits. What is your goal? Link clicks, um, conversions, right? Or site visits. If you choose conversion, for instance, right, um, you, you must have installed an event on your website. But for me, I, I already have, you know, um, the Twitter event on my website. So I'm just going to choose conversions and then uh, select events. So uh, here is where I'll put, you know, um, maybe I needed to get to app, app leads, right? So uh, this is the lead where I want to get to. But for you, if, if you are actually running just traffic, right, like this one that has been recommended, all you need to do is to, um, you know, choose, for example, if you have this, right, this website tracks the performance of your ad. So you just put it there, right? So bidding, I, I will put it as automatic. So for now, I'm just going to use this as the default. Put the bidding at or automatic you pay by impression okay so um how you get charged right so you if you look at all the things like audience management tags and there are no parameters set for now so we just leave it okay so now let's come up talk about demographics right so demographic is more about more like your audience what what, what kind of people you want to target right so for me i would choose all because i want to target um all people and then here you you see that I'm I'm targeting the country Nigeria, and I can decide to put English. But most people who I'm targeting are probably you know they already understand English. Uh, I mean, hardly will you see someone in Twitter who doesn't really understand English, especially from Nigeria. Okay, then um, you can decide to trap people based on the kind of operating systems that they use. So. I'm just going to leave this like this, but if, for instance, you want to uh, run an advert to iOS, right, people who might likely be able to pay you money will probably do this, right? So, but I'm going to just leave it the way it is right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Target people who first use Twitter on a new device or, or career, you know? So, um, custom audience, right? So, include lookalike audience, you know, so you can decide to create lookalike audience, maybe people who have visited your website, you know, and so on and so forth. But I will just leave it for now. Of course, it's optional. So targeting keywords. Now, it's, it's recommended, right? Um, you can target people based on the keyword. For example, I can say affiliate marketing. Yeah, you can see we have like global audience is 147,000. Um, global audience site, so I can put affiliate marketing. Um, so I, I can put pay per click. Pay per click isn't available. So um, let's say online marketing. So yeah, I can choose online marketing like two million um, people, right? So let's see another one. Let's see um, affiliate itself. Okay, so you can see 2.7, but I choose that affiliate marketing instead. Okay, so um, I can also put something like, um, um, you know, advertising or any other thing that relates to uh, my audience. Okay, but let's leave it the way it is right now. Affiliate marketing and online marketing are the two people that I want to, um, you know, run ads with, uh, run ad in target. And you can see these are the number of people that most likely are going to see my ad. Okay. Then look alike or uh, look alike optional. If you look at this, this is very important. Rich people similar to interest to an account follower. Similarity, similarity is based on things like tweets. You know, for instance, now if you know someone who is an authority in online marketing, I mean, especially in affiliate marketing in Nigeria, you might decide to, you know, um, run an advert that is going to target their lookalike. So for me, I'm going to choose someone like um, 
Tony Yomo Toshio in Nigeria. So Tony Yomo Toshio is an authority, as you can see, global audience, 834,000 global audience. So um, I'm going to choose him. You can see this audience has actually increased dramatically. So um, it, it's someone that, <laughs> that you know, that that is very very good when it comes to then a lot of people get to know him as affiliate marketing expert and he even has a program right which i'm also an affiliate with right so these other ones are interest based so i'm just going to leave it the way they are if you know more than two people all you need to do is to add them here for instance let's say you want to add Aki aladi in nigeria right so that is in there you want to add um who again um, Gary V, right? So you see, this is Gary V. He has 92 million, um, you know, global audience. Okay. So um, the next thing you want to do is where do you want to place your art? So if you want to place your art on profiles, I mean, this one is by default. You can change it, right? Then you see this one is said. This is the way the art is going to look like. Promote tweets on the timeline when people are just scrolling. Their timelines, and then we have profile, right? When people visit somebody's profile, let's say for example, Tony Motorshop's profile or any other person's profile, they'll see it there. Then there's another one in the search result. Maybe someone is trying to cite for something related to your keyword, they can also see your ad. So I think you just have to leave everything the way they are, all right? And the Twitter audience platform. Now, Twitter audience platforms are basically platforms that have um, just like let's say for instance you have a blog another person has a blog right and then those people have um they, they are um code twitter codes on their blog such that twitter is able to serve you know ads to their platform which is outside of twitter or to uh apps right on or maybe mobile apps right so uh, twitter share the revenue with those people and then they get paid you understand so this is um twitter audience platform so you see drive greater scale for your campaign by extending your campaign to reach your audience through the apps they use every day so i can decide to simply just cancel this right but if you look at this you see let's have match the look and feel of the publisher so i don't want to do that but now i'll just want my ad to run only on twitter okay so um now they're asking me which ad do, I mean, which which tweet do I want to promote, right? Uh, which is going to lead to, um, you know, uh, what is it called? My website. So there are a lot of tweets here that I can promote. You get. So these are the tweets that are qualified for my promotion, right? These are tweets that are qualified for promotion. Okay. But the one I would use, right? I can also, I can also say that they should show. Right, if you click on here, let me try to reduce uh, my screen size so that you can see. Right, you can see it says show replies and mention. If I click on this, you see that this will actually um, increase. Right, so you now have more. For example, by the way, you definitely love these, you know, stuff like that. Right, so depending on the one you want to use, there are um, a lot of tweets there. Then you can also create what we call um promotion tweets okay you can also create promotion tweets all right so this is where you now create another tweet uh, like that so but the one i want to use right now is this first tweet so i'm just going to choose it for instance and then i can preview here so this is the way it's going to look on desktop and this is the way it's going to look on mobile right so um i'll cancel that so i've chosen that tweet and then I will click on next. Yeah, so this is the summary of our campaign. We're going to be spending $10 per day. And then this is the summary of how the campaign is going to go. So here is where you now launch your campaign. So let's launch this campaign and see how it will perform. Okay, good. So we just launched the campaign. And you can see that Twitter says it's running already. So they want us to give a feedback. How easy was it to set up 
campaign. You guys will judge, but I believe it was, you know, um, very easy. How easy was it to set up your targeting parameters? How easy was it to set up your creative? Um, so this creative is not that easy yet, so I'll just put it as four. Um, how easy was it to manage your creative? Right, so I'll just put it there. So I'll say summit. Okay. Good. So I just gave them a feedback. So you can see that the campaign is already running. But mind you, this doesn't mean that your campaign has started running. Okay. Um, so just give it some time, right? So you can come here and see um, how much you're spending. Like this one, I was I'm spending five dollars, and this one I'm spending ten dollars. And so far, this is the amount I've spent on Twitter. And I hope to, you know, run more ads on this later on because this is something that I'm just trying out. And I just want to show you guys how to do the same. Okay. So um, let me know in the comment if you have any question regarding Twitter ads. Um, what country are you even watching from? And if you have any question regarding Twitter ads, drop it in the comment and I'm going to answer you. Um, remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can be seeing more of tutorials like this from me. Once again, my name is Cholamatu. Have a bright day. Bye.